right, morning everyone. For those of you who don't know Mary Spaulding, let me introduce you. Mary's currently director of our Downstairs Neighbors, the Organized Crime Unit, and soon to be the new head of Asia Pacific Region for CSIS. Welcome, Mary. Good morning. All right, exciting times. We're going to do what we've never been asked to do before, and that's build a new spy service with a foreign component. My mandate is the development of human resources for the Asia Pacific region. My focus is going to be the recruitment of fresh intelligence sources. It's the year of the rat. Excuse me, Inspector. Uh, most of us here are analysts, and since you haven't mentioned it, I was wondering where intel analysis will fit into your scheme. Will there be any, or are we going to be a service made up entirely of snitches? Good question. We've got some of the best senior analysts in the country right in this room, and I intend to keep you busy. Busy and in a slight departure from the past, in the loop, and communicating directly with handlers and agent runners. I want the left brain talking to the right without having to wait for permission from the top where it all tends to get jammed up. There's been a communication breakdown, and this is where it gets repaired. Intelligence is a living thing, gentlemen, and we've got to nurture it. So, I'm in a bit of a devil-you-know situation here. When I do move upstairs, I don't want the OCU directorship left open to somebody I don't know. Right. I'd like to have some influence with whoever it is replaces me. Right. There's some very good names on the list. Some obvious choices. You're not on that list. Huh. But you could be. Uh, uh, okay. And if I was to put you forward for the job, you'd have to understand that I'd expect a good working relationship. Right. Of course. You'd have to understand that I'd expect your loyalty would be to me. Right. I'd expect your full support and cooperation, starting now. Starting now. And at this moment, I have some intelligence assets that I need to protect during this transition. The CSIS Review Committee should want to take a look at who I've been recruiting. I need you to help me make sure they remain anonymous and protected. And what happened to Lee isn't going to happen to anybody else. Understood. So what do you think? Sound reasonable to you? Very reasonable. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to try and make it work. Good. Excellent. Jesus Christ, Adam. You scared the daylights out of me. Hello, Mary. You look terrible. My God, what do you think you're doing? I've come home. You're not staying here. You should still be in the hospital. Adam! Adam, don't answer that. Don't, don't answer that. Do not Are you answer that. Are seeing somebody? Oh. Hello? Let go of me and give me my... Who is this? Let go of me and give me my goddamn phone. Adam, I'm not putting up with this shit from you. This is my house. You think your paycheck paid for this? If you want the house, have your lawyer send me a check. Don't do this. I am warning you. Step aside. more careful, Manny. Your enemies list is getting too long, too fast. Commercial crime is bitching, calling Ottawa, saying you're destroying cases. Drug squad is pissed off. Homicide thinks you're obstructing the Michael Reardon thing in Mexico. Whoa, whoa, whoa. stop. They have zero evidence. They're making up excuses. It's not that I care about you, Mary. I just don't want to see you burn your bridges before you've crossed into the land of job security. Good night. Good night. And don't worry about commercial crime. I'm going to throw him a bone tomorrow. I'm going to throw Drug Squad one pretty soon, too. It'll be fine. Take a look at what I could find on Senor Falcon. And from what I can tell, you boys have a pretty big fish on the line here. 
Pretty big, yeah. His latest thing was an arrest in Guatemala for running arms to a paramilitary organization that runs the security for his coke operations. Are you aware of that? I heard something about that, yes. So help me to connect the dots on this. He lands the coke here, runs it over the border, gets paid in guns or buys guns, and ships those south to supply his army that protect his coke trade? Something like that, yeah. So before I give you boys the go-ahead to grab him, I'd like to know a bit more exactly about what he's doing up here, talking to the DEA. It's not unreasonable, yeah? That's gonna take some time. Okay, whenever you got something. She's a pain in the ass. So the senator spoke to the minister about Royden. It's a no-go. We're going to let an American agent be appointed head of our intel service. For now. Do you have any idea how much damage that could cause? We have friendly relations with the U.S. right now. We don't want anything to put that off course. Do you want to talk about friendly relations? He's been in direct communication on a daily basis with an attache at the American embassy, relaying the substance of conversations and meetings he's had with the deputy minister of SNI. You have evidence of that? I have copies of the emails. I'd like to see those. All right, I'll send them over. Senators also asked me to tell you that she regrets to inform you that you've been relieved of your responsibilities on this investigation. Right. Any further investigation of Mr. Royden is going to be done by someone without an obvious conflict of interest. I am trying to prevent an American from infiltrating our spy service. Where's the conflict? You're up for the same job. At this point, I don't give a shit about the job. It's all good to know. In the meantime, you're not to do anything at all to alarm Mr. Royden, and you're going to turn your operator over into my control. To your control. That's right. Good luck. Good evening, Lee. What's going on here? You delivered information that was designated as Classified B to a criminal organization. Specifically, we have you on a wire, telling the Red Eagles that they're about to be raided. You want to tell me how all this came to be? I think I'd like to have a lawyer present. I guess that's one way to go. I spoke to the Crown in case you decided you wanted to do that. They say you'd probably get a minimum of 15 years, and then you'd be deported. Kind of a shitty way to end a promising career. What's the other way? The other way, you get to keep your job. You get to keep the girlfriend, the wife, the kids, apartment, townhouse, car, everything. My girlfriend drives me crazy and my wife hates me. She'll kill ballistic if she finds out. Especially if she finds out about the girlfriend being pregnant. I'm sorry, I thought you knew. She's pregnant. Apparently. That's what the doctor's office told her. Maybe I'd be better off in jail. Do you want to think about it or should we do a deal? I like to think about it. You hungry? You want some food? I'll have some sent in. Thanks. This is good. What's he want? I told him I'd call a guy I know down in Panama and runs a brokerage. See if we can get the ship moving or get the guns off the ship. You know somebody? Yeah, we got boats going through there all the time. What do you want to do? Find out where he bought the guns. Can you do that? I don't want to get in the middle of it. I got way too much going on. I brought it to you. you do with it what you want. I want to trace the arms deal. Eric Savakis is the name of the guy who took shots at me and Ronnie at the club last week. Nobody seems to know where he's from. Maybe you could see if you can find if he's connected somewhere. Anything else? How's the thing with the ex? Same thing. Haven't seen my daughter in a couple weeks. How do you think things are going to work out? I don't know. Keep starting to take me to court, but that's never going to happen. How old's your daughter? Ten? Twelve. Here. Take a look. <laughs> oh, beautiful. She's a good kid. Does she know what you do? No. You going to tell her? Because if she hasn't figured it out already, she will pretty soon. Five years, I'll be done. Five years, I'll be completely legit.